Hello there, my name's Gary. Welcome to my channel and welcome back if you've been here before. Today is box opening day on the kit of the week and that kit is the MiG-31 Foxhound in 172nd scale from ICM. I'll have a look at the history of the kit, I'll have a look at the competition for it in the marketplace and I'll show you what's inside the box, what you get for your money. Now, if you're thinking about buying one of these, this is the video for you. If you've got one already and you want to know how to put it together, then look out for the companion build video, which will be on this channel very, very soon, as will the combo special, which is the box opening, the build, and some bonus historical material all in one video. If you enjoy the video, and I hope you do, please do remember to say so by giving it the like, thumbs up down there. And also, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. It, all you have to do is click on the logo in the bottom right there it doesn't cost you anything it helps me enormously and if you want to give more concrete support to the channel you can do that through super thanks down here or you can do that through patreon or buy me a coffee links to both of those are in the information box below enough of all of that let's have a look at the kit of the mig 31 in 172nd scale from icm The first ICM kit of the MiG-31 appeared in 2005, but this was just a rebox of the Condor kit of 2001 with new decals. In 2006, ICM released their own new tool of the Foxhound. This has been reboxed three times since, most recently in 2015. The kit also has another life under the Hasegawa brand, in which it first appeared in 2020. The most recent tuning available and the easiest to buy is from Trumpeter in 2016. A notable release of this was with the KH-47 missile in a box from 2019. The first kit of the MiG-31 available in 172nd was the Ace Hobby kit of 1988. The following year, this appeared under the Revel name. Zvezda released their tuning of the MiG-31 in 2000 and have kept the same moulds for their nine subsequent re-releases, including in 2017 as a model set with paints, brushes and glue. The Condor release of 2001, I mentioned earlier, appeared both under the Eastern Express name from 2007 and the Mr. Craft release of 2017, as well as that first ICM release. The MiG-31 is also available in other scales, including in 148th by Avant Garde and Hobby Boss, and in the strange 133rd scale by Fly Model. The box has some reasonably nice artwork and it opens from the top. The contents are not too closely packed in. On the top here is the instruction sheet. This includes a diagram showing the placement of all the parts on the sprue. The parts themselves come in a cellophane bag. Also in the box is the small sheet of decals. Let's have a look at these bits in more detail. There are four plastic sprues all told. Sprue A has just the upper and lower fuselage halves. Sprue B has most of the rest of the structure, the wings, tails, undercarriage and so on. On sprue C we have the inlets and exhausts, nose cone and the weapons. These are three types of missiles. Finally sprue D has all the transparencies. Note that the window frames aren't moulded on these so you'll have to figure out where they are yourself. The transparent plastic is quite grubby. Overall the moulding is quite good with very fine detail lines and a bit of surface muck. I think I'll probably need to wash them. There are a few bits of flash at the edges but otherwise not too bad at all. But Spruce C has the worst flash notably around the missiles and on these engine intakes so these will need a bit of work on them but nothing too terrible to be honest. The edges of the exhausts would also need a bit of a clean up. The instruction sheet is no nonsense with just three pages for the whole build.
on the back are the colour callouts, all referenced to Humbrol colours. There's a separate scheme layout and decal placement sheet for two aircraft. The decals themselves are few, with only one stencil I can see. Colours are okay, but not printed as sharply as modern decals, and there's one small area where ink is missing. We'll see how we go with them, but if you want the best finish, you'll probably be looking to aftermarket sets. There we have again the MiG-31. Now, if you've enjoyed the video, and I hope you have, please do remember to give it the thumbs up, like below, and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already by clicking the small logo in the bottom right there. It doesn't cost you a penny, helps me enormously. In any case, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.